Father's Day is right around the corner, so I came up with a couple of simple, quick, and easy DIY projects. Let's get started. For the first project, you'll need a plain white mug and some Sharpie markers. First, start out by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then wipe down your mug with an alcohol pad or wipe to get any kind of dirt or oil off the mug. Pick out something to draw and draw it on the mug with your marker. If you need to clean up or made a mistake, you can take some rubbing alcohol or some acetone nail polish remover with a cotton pad or a q-tip and clean up what you need to. Be sure you do this before you bake your mug. Once you're finished decorating your mug, you're ready to put it into the oven. I put mine on a baking rack in a cookie sheet pan and put that on my second shelf in the oven. Once your oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, bake your mug for 30 minutes. Once your mug is done baking, let it cool completely before touching it. It took about another 30 minutes to cool off. Keep in mind that you can only hand wash the mug after this. And you're done! For the second project, you'll need a wooden plaque, embroidery floss, nails, paint, a paint palette, a sponge brush, and a hammer. I started on the back of the plaque and measured 3 inches down from the middle and made that my center point for the two nails that I'm going to use to hang it. Then I used a ruler to line it up as best as I could and hammered the two nails into place, then turned the plaque back over. Then paint your plaque any color that you choose. You may have to do a few colors to get the coverage that you want. And then let that dry completely. Find a word or a phrase that you want to put on the plaque. Cut around it to get rid of the excess paper and then center it on the plaque. Once it's centered, you can start nailing it into place on the plaque. When you're done hammering the nails into place that outline the letters, Take the paper out that you nailed down from under the nails. Take your embroidery floss, you can also use twine or yarn, and make a double knot to tie to the nail that you want to start on. Then start winding the floss around each letter, keeping in mind of how the letters look on the paper so that the letter that you're working on doesn't come out looking funny. I have another video that explains this more in depth. I'll put an annotation to the video here. If you run out of embroidery floss, just tie off the end you're working on and start again. Once you have everything tied off, you can use a little dab of super glue to secure each knot. Then clip off the extra floss. Flip the plaque over once more and pull up the nails a bit if needed with the hammer and use the floss to make a line to hang the plaque with. And you're done! Thanks so much for watching my newest video. If you like it, let me know and check back soon for another video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you again soon! Bye!